Welcome back guys, I'm Moto Vink here. So today I am down here just kind of showing you guys kind of around how the dealers are looking these days. We thought with the UAW strike and everything like that, that allocations might get a little bit low, but to be honest with you, the interest rates are so high that nobody's buying right now. And, and this this dealer has lightnings, they have super duties, and this is something a year ago you wouldn't even seen, but uh, between markups and, um, <laughs> And APRs, I mean, APRs, they're saying, you'll go in with an 800 credit score and they say, well, you, you qualify for uh, uh, 7.99, that's the best we can do, and it's atrocious. And not all uh, manufacturers are doing that. Kia and Honda have a good, some decent low rates. GM does have some incentivized rates, but some of these are, the, the finance term is so short that your payments can be outrageous, even if you are getting a 4.9, so just keeping that in mind. But I mean, oh my gosh. So this dealer, is basically marking up most of their super duties, several thousands. And then I was talking with them and they basically said that if to get it at MSRP, which that used to be a taboo thing to pay MSRP for a vehicle, but if you uh, uh, are going to pay MSRP, then they tack on their winter package, their undercoating spray, their clear bra, their this. And some of those things you might find a value. Uh, tint, I always find a value, but I mean, they're marking it up with like, just the weirdest crap. But let's take a look at this, dude. I cannot believe it. They must have 20 Super Duties. Uh, it's unbelievable. They probably have 100 F-150s. You can see more Super Duties down there. I mean, they have a great selection of Super Duties. But I went in and asked them, and, and now they are officially marking them up. I mean, they got, this is more inbound. These are non-PDI'd units. I mean, look at all these Lightnings. Broncos just sitting here. I feel bad for, you know, well, I guess I don't feel bad. They're going to make their money one way or another, but I was in car sales once and it sucks not to sell cars because I was an honest car salesman, but I mean, look at this. Probably they have 30 Explorers, 30 Escapes, 20 Mavericks. That whole line over there again is uh, all F-150s. And then their used, their used car side is just packed too. So again, guys, um, I'm just out here spotting them because I wanted to come by and cruise because I was wondering why they had so many Super Duties available. Uh, again, I've made a couple videos about passing on the 23 and waiting for a 24. And I know that they're getting close to getting their, their increases and stuff when it comes to um, pay that they wanted, the union. And that's fine. I think all across the board, though, the main, all, all the people have to, to do better work if they want to make that much. Because right now they're charging so much for these cars. And that's great. I mean, but I mean, this thing, a year ago, you wouldn't even expect to see this. And, and marking them up over MSRP, I don't do it, guys. And boy, if you have a credit union or a bank, see if you can get the best, best rate. But when they go in here and you try and buy, that may not be your best rate. So, I mean, just look at it unbelievable and they had no no desire to even really sit down and negotiate they say well if we pay, if we charge you msrp uh you know I'll, i gotta at least charge you for these extra three thousand bucks worth of crap add-ons again the window tent i find value in some of the the clear bras obviously they cover a lot of her value but yeah i mean this is this is pretty crazy we'll, we'll find a chevy store and see if that's happening down there too uh and point that out but yeah, they're sitting on a, a, an ass ton of these cars, guys. So um, if you're new to the channel, look down there and smash the subscribe button for me and uh, help a small channel out. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next one.